Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Friday on FIFA 21, and that means it's Promo Friday. Foot 21, what if? Team number two. I want to talk about why I think we're going to see team number two today. Even though we don't see a loading screen right now that is like hinting at anything, just based off of what EA has said and what they have posted on their webpage about the what if promo makes me think. And of course, uh, EA loves to do the two week promos anyway. So I think we're getting team two today. There's also some interesting things going on on the market with transfer cards actually being impacts on the market and in game. So we'll talk about that as well, what that could potentially mean for today. Maybe look at a couple cards that could be involved in the team today. Uh, and of course, I wanted to just talk about what's going on with SBC Fodder 2 and how we can expect the what if cards to be on acting on the market today. Because of course, last week with the what if cards from team one, coming onto the game, there was a lot of supply right away, and I don't think that's going to be the case again today. But of course, again, why we are talking about foot 21, what if team number two is because again, every time that EA say like a team one, uh, usually there's a team two that follows, and this is what we're seeing here. It says team one, and of course, that makes us think there is going to be a team two as well, and we know how much EA love two-week promos, uh, so I am expecting a second week. Now, also, the fact that they had to release, right, a release date spreadsheet, release dates for each player item can be found here, which takes you to this page. The fact that we have a spreadsheet tracking all of the release dates for these what if cards, I mean, if it was only one week with one team and some SPCs and objectives, then you'd be like, okay, probably uh, we don't need a spreadsheet. But the fact that we have a spreadsheet tells me that I think we are getting a team two today. So it's technically not confirmed, but I feel like it almost has to be confirmed that we will be seeing a team number two today for the what if card. So again, just like last week with a new team coming into packs, there's some other stuff that will be happening on the market today as well. And I'll talk about that. But I want to talk about the new what if cards that will be coming out first, because again, last week, we saw these cards crazily, crazily supplied in the first 30 minutes of them, them entering to the market, right? You remember Chris Smalling, who is now 570,000 coins, was down at like 400K flat for the first 30 minutes, rose up to 500K, then rose to 700K, and was extinct by at 800,000 coins at the time the weekend ended, right? You had guys like Sancho, who were down at like 1.25 or 1.19, 1 I remember Sancho being, and he rose all the way up to like 1.4. So you, you saw crazy, crazy, crazy supply in that first hour or so of these what if cards last week and that was because people had saved up packs now this week there's probably a few saved up packs but not as many right because when people when there's no promo out in this game that's when people are apt to saving packs and of course through this entire week people have been grinding upgrade picks they've been grinding the league sbcs basically grinding everything to get packs to try to open and pack these cards that are in packs right now. So the what ifs from team two, I don't feel like are gonna be supplied right away. We had the same scenario happen during future stars. Team one was supplied a ton right away on the market. Team two wasn't supplied as much because there weren't as many saved up packs that were spam opened right away. Now, of course, there will be lightning rounds today. There will be some saved up packs opened, but I don't think you'll see the huge drop and then rebound up into the nighttime as drastic as you saw it last week with what if team number one cards but you probably still will see them drop down get low in that second or third hour then a rebound a little bit into the fourth maybe the third you know like what they say what would that be like uh 8 30 p.m uk time or uh 3 30 p.m here in the u.s eastern time you might start to see them rebound a little bit which is kind of a normal a normal promo fluctuation on a friday the cards get packed they go down they go down they hit a point where they kind of bounce back up because they start to get rare and people are buying them to try out in the weekend league so you might see some of that uh, and then of course then dipping down lower overnight friday night and rising into Saturday where they, of course, people are trying them out in the weekend league. So that's kind of the fluctuations that I would expect today with the new what if cards that are coming out. Speaking of like SBCs and other content we could see today, I think the some of the what ifs are expiring. Uh, of course, we do have the, the brand new prime moments icon SBCs, but the 81 plus player pick is expiring tomorrow. Uh, it expires in 15 hours and the player of the month El Nezri expire, expires in 14 hours. Uh, so if you want to get some player picks stacked up for team two, kind of your last chance to do that. Ribery goes away tomorrow. Um, and the Wendell 
goes away tomorrow as well. We already had Rafinha still has three days left, uh, so that one's still out. I would expect another. Um, they've been really actually spamming us with these what if players. Like we have on the spreadsheet, we have got a full team of 11, three SBCs from this past week, and two objectives. So I would expect another SBC player today for a what if card, uh, and then probably another objective card as well as Caputo is going away today at 6 p.m. UK. Now, I will say, if you want to try to finish this off really fast, uh, they are already on three goals after their first game. So this card is looking really, really likely to get upgraded to an 89 rated card, which will either be good fodder or a usable card for a Serie A team. So definitely keep an eye on that. It's kind of a normal promo Friday in the, in the sense of we're going to see new promo cards out. People are going to be opening lightning rounds and packs and stuff like that. There probably will be a little bit of panic selling, but I wouldn't expect massive panic selling unless we get some sort of, um, you know, information on like something new that would be coming today. And the only thing that we have right now at the time of me recording this that is like quote unquote new, I guess you could say, are some of these brand new transfer cards that are uh, added to the game. Edison, Cavani, Gutsa. If we look at the flipping popular page, there's a ton of them that are out right now. Now, this is Cavani's Manchester United card, so maybe there's some hinting today. I don't think this would mean anything, but since they are releasing these transferred cards out into the game, I guess there's a little bit of um, just thought that we might get, uh, if, they're, if they are gonna do winner upgrades, uh, or if they are gonna do some sort of transferred cards, this could be the time that they do it. Um, of course, Cavani being on the market, you see a lot of these guys, right? Croesma only has four-star skills. Um, you've got Loic Remy, you've got Pedro, Gutza, um, Rafinha right there. There's a couple other cards that I saw in here that were pretty interesting. Joe Hart, Nathaniel Klein, Kalishi, uh, the, I forget what this guy's name is, but the center back for West Brom, this guy, Ivanovic, is his name. He is a huge savior to the league SBC grinders for the West Brom SBC. Now, I'm thinking right now he's like popping up on the market for like 10,000 coins. But it is interesting to see. Like, I wonder about Balotelli as well because he is in the game now. Is he on the market yet? He is not. So, um, it's very interesting to see some of these brand new transferred cards. Maybe we see one or two of them. Maybe like a Cavani or maybe Karezma or Gutsa. I'm not sure if they would do this. But they could throw one of them into the promo today since... In what if team number one, we did have a couple transferred players like Odegaard and Alejandro Gomez. Possibly they include some of the, these brand new transfer cards that they just added into the game today into the what if team too. A Cavani would be pretty dope. Uh, again, maybe a Quaresma, who knows? But that could be something we see today as well. They could include some of those players. Now, other stuff that's going on today that we need to be mindful of and need to be careful of is the Lionel Messi potential player of the month SBC. Now, of course, I did make a video yesterday about player of the month Messi coming. It is not 100% guaranteed that Messi wins this vote or wins this award. But in my opinion, with the stats that Messi had and with the La Liga player of the month vote, the fan vote being a pretty high percentage, I think Messi is going to win. So I do think we'll see a Messi SBC today. And as I said yesterday, that should be dropping at the content drop today as well. So keep an eye out for that. Link investments and just panic selling on Messi's special cards like that team of the group stage uh, because that could be a potential place to pick up on some panic. Uh, and then if Messi's SBC is very overpriced when it comes out, there will be some potential uh, to obviously <clears throat> get involved with some of that. And uh, I'm going to bid on this Gerard right here because that is pretty cheap. I also want to look at this Yashin. But I actually have been trading some Prime Icon moments. I flipped a um, I flipped a Figo. I bought this at 1.9 lows. I made about 45,000 coins on this trade. So that was a GG's. And honestly, the other places to trade right now in this market are just with SBC fodder. And we'll talk about that in just a second, how I think that's going to be impacted today. Um, am I going to win this? Oh, okay, I thought I was going to win this. I don't really want to go too much higher than like 1.5. And it looks like there's multiple people here. So I'll let that sit. GG's, they can have it. But uh, more icon moments should be dropping today. So cards that haven't got their icon moments versions yet, right? The one that comes to mind would be Garincha. 95 is not on the game just yet. I know because somebody was talking about this today. We don't have a Litman in moments yet. Uh, and there's plenty of moments out there that haven't actually got their uh, moments card on the market like Raul. That's a card I think we're waiting on. Uh, Kaka moments is not out in the game yet. So we should see the rest of the prime icon moments released today on Friday as well. That'd be one thing that we are expecting with the promo drop 
today. So we talked about objectives, SBCs, the market and SBC fodder is what I want to talk about next. And this graph right here just goes to show what everybody is like hyped up about right now in FIFA, right? It's all about that mid prime pack still crafting that doing that SBC or um, the 84 plus player pick that came out today as well. It's all about SBC fodder. You take a look at this index 86, right? Drop down really low after rewards with pack supply went up into 6 p.m. UK and then dropped back down with marquee matchup supply. SBC fodder is probably going to maintain and still be creeping upwards in price. Maybe chill out a little bit uh, today before the content drop. People will know that obviously lightning rounds and supply is coming. So I'm fully expecting SBC drop, uh, SBC fodder to drop today. I think that literally all SBC play players on the market will drop unless we get some sort of repeatable SBC, which they usually don't drop on day one of the promo. Uh, 83s are kind of looking low at the moment. 84s aren't too crazy high compared to the rest of this stuff that is inflated because of that icon pick. But I do think you will see this stuff go down in price with pack supply uh, being put out today. Now, the only thing that would make it go crazy high is if people, uh, if EA released some sort of crazy, like one of those messy, like people have been saying messy flashback SBC or another flashback SBC, kind of like CR7, that is really good value. Um, that could be one of the only things that I would really think that would move this up today because usually day one of the promo, EA wants you focused on the new cards, opening packs, and trying out new players. That's what they want you focused on. So I would expect, since the fodder is up so much, we saw what happened yesterday with a little bit of pack supply with even more pack supply coming today. I do think that's going to drop, but it will make for an interesting opportunity later in the evening after all the packs are opened. And if people have coins from opening FIFA points and saved packs, they might go out and buy up fodder because we also got two more, three more icon SBCs which if you take a look at these guys' prices compared to what their moments cards were worth on the market, they're not bad value. Nedved, Clivert, and Carlos Puyol uh, are all actually pretty decently priced on the market. Considering how high SBC fodder is right now, these guys literally can only go down. Once this mid or prime pack goes away, I think it's, fodder's going to sell off a little bit more. This moment's Nedved was 1.6 mil on the market before today. He's actually still 1.4 mil. This is a pretty cracked card, right? Fits the meta decently well, and he's 1 million coins to do the SBC. This might be an 850 to 900,000 coin SBC in a week or so, and there's nine weeks to complete these three SBCs. Carlos Puyol is, uh, how much is he? He's not very expensive either. 520K for that card. His card on the market was like 800K. Um, this is probably gonna be like 400,000 coins when the fodder drops. So if you wanna do either of these SBCs, I would hold off a little bit, or if you're going to start crafting them, go ahead, but don't spend too much on fodder as it's very, very inflated right now. Let that stuff drop off because it's, again, it can't maintain this high of a price for that long of a time. It's going to have to come off a little bit and fall off unless EA keep releasing like prime icon repeatable pick SBCs, which they've already dropped the market enough. I don't see them putting out another one of those. So definitely keep an eye on SBC fodder today because that's still a very hyped up point and, uh, just part of the game where a lot of people are interested because they're uh, wanting to do and complete even more SBC. So player of the month, Messi, of course, we talked about. That was a decent deal on that Gerard. He's probably going to be able to sell that at like 1.6 if he can get a sale overnight. Anyways, um, the icon moments that will be coming out today and more pack supply for icon moments. Since this market is just so... I'll say it, it's pretty dead, right? This market is really dead right now. If you have Icon Moments players, Icons in general, a lot of those cards are down crazy amounts. And I honestly think, especially for Moments, they're going to keep going down today. We are going to get some more coins put back on the market as people open packs. So we will have a little bit more maybe of, of life on the market today with people having uh, opened FIFA points packs, opened up saved up packs. So there might be a few more coins to go around, but I honestly feel like you're going to want to maintain and stick to the hype areas of right now, which are going to be the brand new what if cards. If we take a look at what if team one, if there's nothing crazy that comes out today, content wise, you know, you might see these guys who have started to rebound back a little bit. Smalling was 550. He's now 574. Uh, Odegaard was 480. He's now 506. Uh, Sancho was one two flat. He's now up to one two eight. So you might see these guys start to bounce back if there's not any crazy content because people know these are live items and they're getting closer towards their upgrades. Now, one thing I will say is last week on Friday, we actually had live games that happened uh, on the day of the release for brand new cards. Unless there is a player from Schalke, Mines, Valencia, Villarreal, 
uh, or any of these other teams that have league games today, like Sporting, uh, I really don't expect any of the what-if players to have games on Friday. Now, of course, last week, like Yuri Berchiche had a game the same day of, uh, and that was kind of crazy. I think Le Melu, there was three games. Jovic, Le Melu, and Yuri Berchiche, I think, all had games last Friday. That's not going to be the case this week with whoever comes out as a part of Team 2. So, honestly... The big thing today for me is that player of the month, Messi, how much he's going to be worth. If you see panic selling on the rest of the market, uh, just using this Usman Dembele freeze as an example, uh, focus on, you know, rare cards that fluctuate around a lot. This Usman Dembele thought was supposed to be or supposedly in Team of the Week. He's actually back down. 1.29 is pretty low for him. There's just not a lot of buying power on this market though right now. And I do think that if you see panic selling in the morning on some of these rare out-of-pack special cards... Even some of the cards that are, you know, cheaper in price that are still pretty rare. I think about, um, when I think of rare cards, I think of this like Teo Hernandez, uh, the left back team of the group stage, or maybe some of his informs. Now, of course, if we were to get some sort of like Ferland Mendy today, that might hurt the headliner Teo Hernandez. Um, but like this card seems to be pretty rare and fluctuate around a decent amount. So if you see panic selling on some of these rare cards like Freeze Record breaker Jamie Vardy is one who has dropped off a decent amount with the market kind of crashing. But if you see these guys drop off big amounts today, um, definitely look to get involved. I mean, Vardy is 5'10", so that's interesting. I like to watch rule breaker Kane all the time. Some of the new f the foot future stars, some of these cards are still pretty hyped, right? People are still trying out some of these players, and they've dropped down pretty big amounts, right? Bastoni, 224, still one of the only center backs in the Serie A that gets links. And is a pretty good card. Saka's 1.93. Fatih is 2.3. And if you look at team number one, you've got Bergwijn, who was down at 700k flat earlier. Reyna was down at like 865. Dest is up a bit, of course, with the, the rumors of the links to the Messi player of the month. Just watch these cards that are, are rare out of packs that people are still, even team of the years, right? Lewandowski dropped when his new team of the week came out. Trent Alexander-Arnold, if we get a right back today, keep an eye on him. Neuer is up a lot right now in price um, because of linking uh, cards together in this game. So keep, keep an eye on some of this stuff because if you see panic selling today on rare cards, if it's not that hyped of a day, uh, I think you will see some stuff. Uh, bounce back a little bit because there will be some coins on the market. I'm going to be focusing a lot on the brand new promo cards because you'll still be able to fluctuation trade those. You'll still be able to make coins off of those. Um, and of course, icons as well because icons are always great to trade. And remember the ones that are out of packs, of course, right? You have the babies and the mid cards that are all out of packs. So that means less uh, supply and more fluctuation with some of those cards as well. So I guess the last thing that we have to maybe talk about is just theoretical potential for those winter upgrades. If they did do them today, um, I think if they don't happen today, then it's basically it's basically done. It's basically done. If we don't have winter upgrades today, which I don't even know how you can call them winter upgrades anymore, which that sun is a pretty big undercut. This, is a, this guy's now on two wins because Spurs have, have won two in a row. Um, but... You know, like Sun's Inform card was very inflated for the past couple of weeks. It's like people didn't want to sell this card because of the potential upgrade that it had coming to it. Uh, and it has dropped off considerably just with the market crash in general. Uh, but I think today is our last shot for winter upgrades. If they're if they're going to happen, I feel like they kind of have to happen today. And the fact that we have some of these guys starting to show up on the market, I don't think Ivanovic uh, is actually going to show up. He's probably going to be extinct. There he is showing up at 5K. Are people buying these? Yeah, people are buying these to do the SBCs, which is crazy. Uh, but the fact that we have these brand new cards showing up onto the game makes me think uh, that there might be some sort of transfer content today. I'm not sure. It's going to be interesting to watch out for. Of course, watch this week's Team of the Week. It's going to get supplied during lightning rounds. And just, again, watch for a little bit of panic selling in general. Since this market is very dead right now, um, I do think that you will see a bit of panic this morning uh, as we head into the content drop. And that could potentially make on some very rare cards some nice fluctuations because people sell stuff, look to see what the new content is, what the new cards are that are coming out, and then potentially uh, go and buy back cards that they had in their team that they had once sold. So, of course, we had that weekend league demand on the nighttime 
as well. But very interesting day today on FIFA. What if team number two, more cards and packs, more SBCs, more objectives, and the rest of the icon moments, hopefully in the game. And I'll, we'll see if EA throws any curveballs at us with like winter upgrades, uh, winter refresh, skill move, weak foot upgrades. There's been some squad updates today. I don't know if that has anything to do with that. So we'll have to see what comes today on Friday, but it should be a good day. We'll be live down below twitch.tv backslash the foot account. That link is down there. We'll be live streaming the content drop as it happens, talking about it all. And of course, helping you guys through it. But if you enjoyed this uh, video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.